Hey guys, welcome to the Tech Chap where I've got the new Huawei P Smart. I'm gonna do a bit of an unboxing, have a little play of it, give you my first impressions because this is a new sort of budget mid-range phone from Huawei. You've got the likes of the P10 and the Mate 10 Pro at the top and now we've got this, which is a bit more of a lower mid-range phone. But the idea is it takes a lot of the high-end features and puts it in a phone that's a lot more affordable. So I'm really looking forward to having a little play of this. But I think it's the price that's gonna really make the P Smart stand out. With a retail price of just 229 pounds or 17 pounds a month on contract with nine pounds upfront. It's available from Vodafone from today until the 1st of March, and then it will go on sale across other networks. So that is the P Smart. Let's have a little look inside and see what we get in the box. Uh, obviously the phone, but we'll take a look at that in a second. You get the SIM ejector, warranty card information, plug, USB cable, that is micro USB, not USB-C. Also, a pair of headphones, so fairly standard stuff. And there we have it, the P Smart from Huawei, which actually looks and feels surprisingly nice considering this is a bit of a budget phone. Uh, let's take this plastic off and then have a proper look at it. There's a screen protector already on, so I'll probably leave that, but that is a really nice looking phone. I've got it in black. It is available in a few different colors, although not all of them come to the UK. So the P-Smart's got a 5.65 inch screen, but it is a tall 18 by nine aspect ratio, something that usually you only get on high-end flagship phones. And also Huawei have trimmed the bezels, again, something that usually is reserved for the higher end phones. So we've got a nice big, what Huawei call full view screen and these nice thin bezels. Looking around the phone on the bottom, we've got a headphone jack, micro USB port, and a speaker grill. On the back, we've got this rear fingerprint reader and dual camera lenses with a 13 megapixel main camera and a second two megapixel camera. So we'll have a little bit of a closer look at that in a second. So first impressions are really good, but let's get this set up and have a little play. So now I've got the P-Smart set up and I've installed all my apps. Let me run you through exactly what you get with this phone, starting with the screen. And as I say, it's a 5.65 inch screen. It's full HD, although it's slightly higher than full HD resolution because it does have that taller 18 by nine screen. It is really nice looking and can get quite bright. If I turn the brightness way up, you can see that's uh, blowing out the camera. So the screen looks really nice, but really the first thing you notice is just how fast and responsive this feels. Uh, considering it's a sort of budgety mid-range phone, everything feels really smooth and responsive. And that's thanks to the Kirin 659 processor inside along with three gigs of RAM. You've also got 32 gigs of storage, although that can be expanded uh, with a micro SD card, which you can put in here. But what makes a bigger difference is the fact that this is running all the latest software. If I go to about the phone, you can see we've got uh, EMUI, so that's Huawei's own skin on top of Android. That's the latest 8.0 version. And we've also got Android 8.0, so that's the latest Android Oreo. So considering the price, this feels really nice to use. But let's test it out in a game. If we jump into uh, Skidstorm, let's start with that. So you can see in some apps, you do get this sort of pillar boxing because of the uh, taller screen, although then, as you saw there, that a lot of apps do then adapt to that. So you do get that nice full screen or what Huawei call full view experience. So uh, let's have a little play of this. So as you can see, this is running flawlessly. There's no dips in frame rate or anything. It looks nice. So this is Modern Combat 5. It's one of the most graphically intensive games on the App Store right now. And as you can see, oh, yeah, I'm still alive. Yep. <laughs> and as you can see, it runs really nice and smoothly. No problems at all. So this model here in the UK will come with three gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage. Although there are some regions where this will come with four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. So that depends on where you live. But as you can see from those games, this still runs everything pretty much flawlessly. So that's really, really impressive. Now let's talk about the camera because this is one of the most standout features of this phone. And the benefit of having this second lens, as I say, which is two megapixels next to the 13 megapixel main camera is the ability to get better portrait modes. So if I jump into the camera app, uh, you can see this little icon up here, and that is the basically the wide aperture mode, the portrait mode, which you can use with, either with the rear camera or even with the front selfie camera. You're gonna see me and the camera now. Yep, hello. <laughs> this is how I film the unboxings. Um, and you can see it's still lit up there. So you can get portrait mode on both front and rear cameras. So if you're taking selfies, you can get that nice bokeh blurred background effect. There's loads of other features though with the camera. You get HDR and pro photos. 
uh, light painting, time lapses, loads of different features. Uh, video is limited to 1080p 30, so you don't get 4K video on this. I'm gonna look at the camera in a bit more detail in a different video, but for now I just wanted to share with you the features you get with the PSmart's camera, including the portrait and wide aperture mode, which I'm really looking forward to having a play with. And finally, in terms of battery life, there's a 3000 milliamp hour cell inside this phone, uh, which Huawei say will give you a good day and a half of battery life, although I'll have to test that to be certain, but there shouldn't be any problem getting through a full day with the PSmart. So first impressions are really positive, especially given it's really competitive pricing. And if you want to find out more, I've left a link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Click that like and subscribe button. I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat.